Hello, hello, darlings, and welcome back to my channel. So today we do a review on this L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Cushion, and let's go on the top of the packaging. I really like like the rose gold color. Like it's just so pretty all right so the color that i have right here is w2 and on the back right here it lists out the ingredients and then it also has pictures and it also has instructions on how to go ahead and use this product for those of you guys who do not know how to go ahead and use it so when you go ahead and open this up it has like a nice um, mirror in here and then you have like your um cushion right here and if you open it some more you actually have um your product in here so when i was actually choosing the color for this product Product, I had a very difficult time because of the way how it was stored so I'm not sure is it just because of the drugstore that I went to stored it really weird or like sort of like out of like color because typically you know when you like purchase like foundations or anything um, it that they do typically start from like the lightest to like the darkest but as for um this one is actually like just all over the place like it was like top bottom and I was just like so confused on choosing my color so I try to choose a color that like matched me as much as possible so um, if you guys actually look on the front right here it definitely does have like a little bit of like the color but I feel like the color on the top right here doesn't really correspond to like the color on the inside right here so it was like really tricky and of course you know for drugstore products you don't really get to try it on before you buy it so that's one thing that kind of like you know gets a little bit difficult so for those of you guys who don't know how to go ahead and use like cushion compacts what you typically do is that you take this little cushion right here and then depending on you typically i like to go ahead and like put like three fingers on here because it does have like an easier grip so just go ahead and slip it through your three fingers and then go ahead and just push down once or twice and then your product will go ahead and be on this cushion right here and what i noticed about this cushion is that it is typically different from other cushion compacts i have tried and used so usually those cushion compacts that i use like when you push down once um the product doesn't really um go well onto the cushion compact but for this one it actually goes on really really well like it definitely does take in like a lot of product and all you have to just go ahead and just pat your face and then that's pretty much it so it is definitely very buildable so if you do need like a second or a third layer or if you do need to go ahead and touch up on some parts you just go ahead and just push down and just pat 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 and that's pretty much it so i actually um wore this cushion compact for 12 hours and at first when you go ahead and put it on it looks really nice very i want to say it kind of gives you like this really nice dewy slash like a little bit of like a matte kind of finish and for me i have like combination skin so i have like sensitive and i have like a really oily t-zone like my forehead nose and chin are like sometimes they just get really oily sometimes and what i noticed is that after four hours of wearing this oh my goodness i looked in the mirror and my nose lost a foundation my chin got so oily and my forehead was like crazy crazy in oil and my mom even asked me like are you sweating like what is happening why is your face so oily and i was like i didn't do anything you know and i was like oh it is the cushion compact that i'm wearing out of all the cushion compacts i have tried and used i have never gotten so oily before and um i definitely did not touch it i just left it on my face and then i just went throughout my day and then things started to get worse and worse by the eighth hour i literally do not know what happened like the foundation on my forehead was gone foundation on my chin was gone like if you were to go and look at my cheeks like foundation was also gone too and i was like oh my goodness what is happening i literally didn't even do much that day all i do is i i went out and then i did some shopping and then i came home and i was just sitting there watching my dramas and i was like oh my goodness as for my final thoughts on this foundation i have to say i really do like the cushion and as for the product right here i really like how um it does go ahead and soak in a lot of products but unfortunately this cushion compact did not work out for me since 
it made my skin right here my t-zone so oily and it definitely did not last a good amount of time for me and another thing is that um the color didn't match for me that well so and also as for price wise i would have to say i feel like this cushion compact is actually quite pricey to other cushion compacts i have tried and used since you guys know l'oreal paris is like a drugstore um brand and i feel like if i were to just go ahead and purchase like maybe like a regular foundation I feel like that's definitely more affordable versus um, this cushion compact right here and as for the coverage I would have to say it does have like a good amount of coverage well that is it for today's video and I shall catch you guys later bye